So this time I have it where you can hear me now. All right. We're going to work on our abacus. I had to print out a few things. This is my worksheet. I am going to show you what I've created. Let's see. Um, all right, so here's my worksheet. I'm going to move that out of the way. So this is my worksheet and this is my abacus. Now it's kind of cool because my abacus, uh, there's got the top beads and the bottom beads. That is what page one is about. Page one talks about what the abacus is about, the structure of the abacus. All right, so the structure of the abacus, we have the top bead. This is the top bead on this picture, which is the same as the picture down below. That abacus is the bottom bead. All the bottom beads, the bottom beads are at the bottom, just like here on the abacus, right? So the bottom beads is the other colors, the um, the green, the yellow, the orange, and the red. So those are the bottom beads. Now the beam. The beam is this thing right here. That's this line that goes across. We were talking that it was going to be the safe zone. The safe zone is where when, you know, you're playing tag and you have a safe zone and you're like, not it. Um, you have to touch the beam. So when this bead, this bottom bead is touching the beam, the beam is in the safe zone. I'm going to have to figure that one out a little bit. So that's what the that's what the beam is. The beam is like a safe, like a safe area. Okay, that's what the beam. Is. And then the outside is this right here, which is this picture. In this picture, there is the frame. That's the frame that holds everything together. All right. So that is what the abacus. That's the structure of the abacus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now when we talk about it. We're going to understand the number one, just like one grapefruit, right? One grapefruit. So one on the abacus, one on the abacus. Okay, there you go. One on the abacus is just the one green bead. And to move it up and see how it's touching the beam, that beam. So we'll see. So when the bottom bead touches the beam, that bead, this bead, so in this picture, this is one. All the bottom beads has a value of one. So this is one. And then in this picture, you see that there's only one bead touching the beam. And then I have a little video that talks about one, like my grapefruit or my orange or my apple. So all of this is just one. So one on the abacus, one apple. One on the abacus, one orange. One on the abacus, one grapefruit. Okay, make sense? All right, so that's what the video, the video is kind of cute. So the video, you can watch that at a later time. Now here, this is one. One finger, right? That one finger, that is one. So on the abacus, that's the one over here. That's the number one, and this is the bead one. Let's see. Let's see. We can color this in, but the bead, we just want to color in the one bead. Just like that. And then we can color the beam. We can color the frame and we can color the beam and we can color the column. And it's all nice and pink. And I really like this pen. Okay. One. O N E. One. O N E. And that's how you spell one. All right. So that is understanding the number one. And we can watch this uh, video later. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to color the one bead, right? That's the one bead. We're going to color the one bead. And here it is. Oh. One can also look like this. On my brown abacus, I have my marker here and I put in one. So on the brown abacus, I have one. On the white, ivory. This is ivory. So on, it's not really made out of ivory. It's just color, right? It's kind of yellowish. So on the yellowish abacus, that's one. There's my marker that showed me where the ones are. 
So this is one. One, one, one. Whoa, that's kind of messy right there. Okay. So one, one, one. One. All right. So that's all squared away. Now we can color the bead and cut the bottom boxes and paste it to the right of the box. These are the bottom boxes, and we're going to paste it over here. But first, we're going to color our abacus. I'm going to use red. I used red before. I'm going to use red. And it smells like cinnamon. Now, I'm going to color my frame just like that. I'm coloring my frame. I color the beam. I color the column. But I want to change my number, my bead. I want to make it green. So it's going to be a green bead. And then my number one, my O, and And then I don't like apples. So we're going to make the leaf green. I'm going to make the leaf green. There we go. But I really like red apples. So we're going to color it red. There we go. Yeah. Now it is time to light our scissors. We're going to cut left, middle, right boxes. Okay. So we're going to cut our bottom boxes. And then we will. Cut the right box that has the apple, the number one word, word number one, and then the actual number one. Okay, so we have our left, middle, right. Now, see my red apple. <laughs> my red apple with my red apple. All right, so where are we going to put it? We're going to put the red apple in the middle, and that's the middle. And then I'm going to put the number one at the bottom. I'm going to put the num the, the word one on the top. All right. So we got that. Ooh. So here is our next activity. Our next activity is color the number one. And you can color it pink. Do we have pink? We have pink. So what are we doing here? What we, keep, what we have to do is we have to find the one bead. We're going to use this uh, abacus as a reference. So look, one bead and that's one bead. So I'm gonna color that in just like that. This one has too many beads because there's, well, there's three, right? Okay, so we're not gonna do that one. This one has too many beads because we only want the one bead and we're gonna cross that out. Oh, but this one is, right? This one looks like this. So I'm gonna color that in. This one has too many, so cross that out. I have this one. Hmm, that's one. Yep, I'm going to color that in. And then this one is more than one. So cross that out. We have one. There we go. And this is too many beads. So we're going to cross that out. Okay, so that is this activity. Now, I like this one. This one's a cute one. This one is I Spy Abacus. We have to circle all the abacus. Now, we're going to look for something that looks like an abacus. Let's see. I have, oh, I found one right here by the brown bird. Let's see. I have, oh, I have one right here in the sky. It looks like it's, mm, the sun is setting, right? Little bit dark. Oh, I have a an abacus here, an abacus there. Do you see one by the dog? I see one right here on the dog's ear. Let's see. Any more abacus? I see one on the tree. Let's see. Oh, I see one on the cat's wheel. Do you see that one? And then I see it a lot on the trees. There's a lot on the trees. So we're just going to circle all of those, and that's it for this activity. So this is I Spy Abacus. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Now we're going to be talking about the number two. 
All right. Number two, just like two grapefruits. Whoa, two grapefruits. One, two. So on the abacus, right? One, two. Two on the abacus, two grapefruits. These are very big grapefruits. Okay. Yeah, two grapefruits. And so that is what the two is. So when two bottom beads touch the bead, right? Just like here, the this is the beam, and the two bottom beads touch the the beam. It's in the safe zone. Okay, I'll have to think, think about that. This is what abacus is displayed too. So on this picture, in this picture, there's the two beads. Notice it's one, two, just like the number two. And then this is circling the two beads, just like here. And then this is a video of the number two to know more, just like this. I have two apples, two apples, one, two, two on the abacus, one, two, two apples on my head, one, two. And then let's see, ah, two fingers. So that's what this is. One, two, two fingers. So there's two on the abacus, two fingers, two. And then this is the number two. Oh, and this is another picture of the abacus that shows us two. I'm gonna color this one in. Here's my frame, right? Here's my beam. Here's my column. And then I'm gonna use a different color. And then, I'm going to use blue. Blueberry. And that's going to be one, two beads. There's my two beads. Okay. So that's what understanding what two is. So now we know. So what activities do we have? Well, it's another cut and paste activity. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color my frame. No. This time I'm going to color my column. I'm going to color my column just like that. And then I'm going to color my B. I'm going to color the frame with a very steady hand. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to change and I'm going to use pink. I'm going to color the two bottom beads just like that. Okay. Where's my scissors? You have your scissors? I have my scissors. So we're going to cut them bottom the bottom boxes we're going to cut the bottom boxes okay we're going to lay it down like this and we have another we have the left side we have the right box oh i didn't color it in and then we have the middle and left box now we got we should color it in all right so let's see, I'm gonna do a blue. So my two is going to be blue, two blue. Yep, that rhymes, right? Two blue. And then number two, T, W, O. But these look like little trees. I'm not gonna make my trees brown. I'm gonna make my, uh, I'm not gonna make my trees blue. I'm gonna make my trees Brown and green. So green leaves, just like that. One, two. And the trunk. One trunk, two trunks. All right. So we did that. Now, where are we going to put it? I want to put my two trees. I'm going to put my two trees on the top. I'm going to put my number two in the middle and i'm going to put the word two on the bottom all right so that's the one activity i'm going to move this way and now color the number okay so here we are we got to look for the number two on the app because we're going to look for two. so remember one two that's two that is not two. I'm going to cross that out. I'm going to use, I don't know what flavor is. It. Okay, so I'm going to cross that out. This one looks like too many. You only need two. This one looks like two, right? One, two, one, two. 
So I'm going to color that in. That one, that was not a two. We know that one's a one. So we're going to cross that one out. Oh, but this one's a two, right? One, two, one, two. And color that in. This one has too many. We're going to cross that out. This one is one. We know that that's not it. So we're going to cross that out. This one's a two because look, one, two, one, two. Color this one, too many beads. And then this one, oh, just right. One, two, one, two. All right. So that is done with this activity. Let's go to the next one. Let's see. I like this one. This one is colored by number. All right. Let's see. We need to find a brown and a green. So I have a brown and I have a green. So we got to do, oh, number one, O N E. It's brown. So we're going to write the number one. Here is green, T W O. Okay. So we got to write the number two. Just like that. Now let's go look for all the twos. So this one's a two, so we're going to color this one green. This one's a two, so we color the turtle green. And then this one's a two. That's for sure a two, right? Oh, and the head two. So we're going to color that in. Mm, okay. What else is two? Oh, this is two. This is two. This is two. And the last one is two. So now, where are all the browns? We're going to do brown. We're going to do one. This looks like one. This is one. 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 Nice. So that's what it looks like. There is my color by number. Oh, okay. Last one. This is a close connectivity. So this one is cut the cards, right? Use a clothespin to indicate the abacus that's represented. So we have one. Where are we going to put the clothespin? I have to find a clothespin. Let's see if I can find a clothespin. Here it is. Let's see. Where's a clothespin? I have wooden clothespins. See? Just like that. Okay, so it says cut the card. So we need to find scissors and we're gonna cut the cards. And we're just gonna cut it from here to here. Alrighty. So there's my cards that are cut. Now what does it say? It says use a clothespin. Oh, okay. Use a clothespin to um indicate the number. So this is a one, and here's my clothespin, and I'm just gonna do one. That's it. And then here's two. So I need to find the two on the abacus. I use my clothespin and I make a two. Right, so we're done with that. Now we gotta trace the number. I'm gonna use my pink pen and I'm gonna do one O N E and then T W O or two. And it looks like that we have to cut it as well. So <clears throat> and then we match the word with the number. We match the word with the card. So we have two and one. So this is not two, this is one. So we're gonna put this and this together, just like that. All right.
That's it. Okay. Whew. That was a, a little bit. Now, if you want to, if you want the activity, go ahead and type in the word abacus and I will send you the link so that you can get my free activity. You can watch it and redo it and, you know, have fun with it. Um, yeah, so this activity I created is just for, for you to try. Uh, and that is what abacus is about. It's about counting and what it looks like on the, what it looks like on the abacus. All right, thanks again. Oh, let's see. So um, if you're looking for an abacus, I have one on my website. Um, it, but if you're interested, after the activities, if you like the activities and you want to do more activities with the abacus, I actually created a book. This book is full of activities that I've created. So, um, and I also have an online course. If you're looking for more, uh, more videos on on the abacus okay all right so if you're looking for a a, a course uh oh no sorry if you're looking for the worksheet type in the word abacus in the comments below and i'll see you later bye um,